joins us to explain how the game of bridge developed. Oh, how you do it, though? Oh, look at this. Uh, it's a cat sound. I've mesmerized. It's something to do with chicken. I do it a pretty simple. I'm rather a thot. The man can see me first. He says, the mighty cat, more than I say, has a red that snot and what cats are barely doing. Well, Milo, perhaps I could join you for a hand. How about for the viewers at home, Milo? You uh -huh. take us through the art of dealing. Dealing? Uh, it's a pretty good one, it's a... And you present that clothes, and you match that fucking man's a sock match. If I slowly put a forgiven stuff somewhere, and you fall down with this side, and you pick up, you got to test it. Oh, it's true, but I don't want to pick up the wrong guy. Basically, that's the situation. Marla, that strikes me as a very complex method. Yeah. I'm wondering, does it have a special name? The hell is this on a special name? Or a bunch of thrill out, buddy. The name is Tukamanagi! Tukamanagi! Nice! That's what it has to do. Do like this. The name of your answer, Alan, to put my canvas of strangers. Psychology, Marlon. Yeah. We've said it's a mind game. What do you do to gain a psychological advantage over your opponent? That's a great thing. I tell you what, you're playing a game nice and cross-friendly like, right? Because that spit. And you go, <laughs> what do you do? Is that a Picasso over there? <laughs> yeah, baby, see? No, I don't think you fit that funny, baby. You want a pen? You want a pen? I'm going to take them a chance from that.